Hello, hello! Are we live? I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh man. So, welcome everybody to another episode of A Direct. I think I meant to play this one first. Oh well. I thought, as well as the usual background track stuff, I'd have some portal, you know, tunes for this. I'm gonna turn this down a bit, um, because it is quite loud. Guys, is the audio balance good? Is the music too quiet? Am I too loud? Because... There are three things you should be able to hear. My voice, the music, and the voices of these guys. For this episode, I've got two collaborators who I've never actually, um, like... I don't think I've ever actually had them in voice chat or in a debate direct episode before. Probably to join us in the like Big Among Us game that kind of revived that on my channel, but a bit too quiet. All right, but yeah, um, and yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be talking to Frog Balloon and Dario the Duck, who you both may know from my uh, live chat as well. So, fellas, here he is. Here they are. Hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. You are live. You are the, everyone in the world can see you, theoretically, potentially. Um, let's uh, let's introduce them in uh, I don't know, just order order of which they. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I put them in alphabetical order. Sometimes I put them in the order of which they ask to join the debate. Direct. Frog balloon, you're up. How you doing, dude? Hello, uh, my name is Frog Balloon. Pixelartist. You uh, are definitely quite the music. Need to turn it down. Pixelartist. Yes. Yeah, so guys. These guys have links in scripts you can check out. Frog Balloon. So you have a game gel page. Yep, that's what I have in the description. Check it out, fellas. I have a hat now because very nice avatar, by the way. And, uh, yeah, if you guys wanted to go check out what he does, you can check out that link in the description. Some very interesting things on here. I've actually not explored it that much yet. Nice. Oh, look at that. He's with a little duck, which. Uh, Transitions quite nicely onto our next guy, Dario. Welcome back. How you doing? Hope the music's not too loud. Dario, hello. Guys, he was having some tech issues before he started. This might not might not be working. The mic on Discord. What about it? <laughs> just use chat if uh, if you can't talk, guys. Yeah, if you just use chat. But yeah, uh, Frog Balloon and Dario here, which is very nice. And I see chat. Hello, General Kenobi. You are a bold one. You got the quote wrong, but yes, you gotta say it. Gotta love a prequel Dario memer. just disconnected. Yeah, I, I don't know what's up with that. He'll come back. Uh, but yeah, uh, hello, Super Mario DJ. Thanks for joining. Hello, Nubert. Star Wars meme. Who, like, who got doesn't say General Kenobi to the hello there? Like, damn. Nah, we are cultured. All right, we are finely crafted taste culture i probably shouldn't show dario's dms on stream but he's messaging me so let me take a look at that um sorry the music scared you noob but and yeah it looks like that's everybody here um he's just repeating the same thing that he put in live chat dario you only need to message once i can see you welcome back so yeah um dario has a was it a youtube channel or no dario has a game jolt as well which you can check out link is in the description if you want to get in touch with him he's creating stuff on here hey give me a shout out let's go uh wow um hello okay you're not muted but i can't hear you check your like input and stuff dude because uh it's not working and just use chat if nothing else works uh yeah he's actually he's working on a fnaf game by the looks of things so yeah uh, let's not waste any more time. I'm already late. So, these are the boys I'm with. And, I actually don't have a Cure TD yet. So, um, I'm gonna come up with one right now. Which portal... Hello? Hello? That wasn't you, that was Dario, right? I, I didn't... I thought I heard something. Yep, that was Dario. Guys, like... I don't know, man. I can't hear him. I don't know if it's just me, but like the music's louder than you guys. I'm gonna turn the music right down. It is. Maybe that's actually a problem with us. I don't know. Yeah, you're you're both pretty quiet. I'm not gonna lie, Dario. Uh, welcome. I've never heard your voice before. How you doing? Are you on push to talk or something? You you guys are muting a lot. Uh, no, I'm just. 
trying to reduce background noise when I'm not talking. Alright, fair uh, enough. So, like, I'll only unmute when I need to. Alright, guys. That is today's no, QOTD. Yeah, I can hear you, but you're, like, really muffled. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So, if we're not having any more tech issues. Um, nothing new in chat. Lovely jubbly. Okay, moving on. So, today, guys, we are going to be doing some... We're going to go through the Aperture Personality Identifier Program. I made that up on the spot. A long time ago, I set out on doing personality quiz-themed debate directs for a bunch of different games that I played on the channel. Now, it's unlikely that we're going to come back to Portal or Portal 2 before the year ends, so I decided let's have some uh, Portal content before we finish the year, and uh, let's see through these personality tests who we're most like, from Shell to Wheatley, GLaDOS, and even old Cave Johnson, who from Aperture are we most like. Now, what I'm actually going to do is open these personality qu quizzes uh, one by one and share them all with you because you guys can also participate in this if you so wish. They will be in the live chat. Now, some of these are garbage. Like, some of these just aren't even working. These are from a while ago. And some of them are really bad. Like, you see there's some roleplay shit here. So, I think we're just going to be doing these three quizzes. These are the only three which look any good. I've learned from past experiences that a lot of these are trash. So, I'm being a bit more selective. I didn't actually do the quizzes before selecting them because the whole point is that I don't experience it now, but I've learned to tell. So, the first quiz is in live chat. Go check it out. Um, and yeah, I actually asked the guys which characters they thought they were most like, hence their random characters on the thumbnail. Frog, you, you play a lot as Peabody. What's that all about? Yep. I've definitely played as them, uh, like every time I've went into that game. <laughs> is your body P? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ladies, if your guy is tall, has orange eyes, and acts like a robot, that's not your man. That's Peabody. <laughs> I should create a meme of something like that. And yeah, uh, Dario thinks he's the most like companion cube because he's dead inside and always there or something. And yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, your mic's working. How you doing, dude? Co correct. I can just about make you out. Guys, tell Finally. me if the... Yeah. Hello. Oh my god, this has to be the most awkward voice chat I've been in on the stream. God damn. Guys, forgive the tech issues. Definitely. But um I'm gonna, I'm gonna It's okay, dude. I, I can actually make out what you're saying. I hope you guys can, because I, I don't know if the music's too loud. I'm just gonna do an audio check. I'll be right back. I cannot wait to play you. Oh, I cannot wait to tell. So, yeah. God damn. Is uh -huh. some roleplay shit here? Here he is. Disconnected. I probably shouldn't show. Uh, Frog Balloon and Dario here, which is very. Nice. But yes, you gotta see what's up with this. So, like, crafted taste. He's opened these purse. Co correct. The whole point is that I. Go oh, check. A bit more selective. I didn't actually do the quizzes. But jubbly. Some. Open these purse. Correct. Whole point is that I go check a bit more selective. Okay, <laughs> let me let me cut that out. All right, we're all good. <laughs> all right, fellas, the audio is good. I just checked myself to be absolutely sure because I wasn't wasn't sure. Like I trust chat, but <laughs> not that much. But yeah. Now, judging what I've heard from other people, I actually think I'm most like Wheatley. Does anyone want to guess why? <laughs> so I put him in there. Um, before we get into the quizzes, which uh, yep, the first one's in chat. So everyone. Open up this quiz page, and we're just gonna get straight into this, alright? <sighs> but yeah. Alright. Unfortunately, yeah, DJ, this episode's probably gonna be a bit shorter. I also wanted to talk about, by the way, like, this is us starting later than usual, and it's already, like, dark outside. The temperatures dropped rapidly today, and it was dark much earlier. I think winter's arrived, guys. Like, winter arrived today. It's the 21st of November. Winter is most definitely just, it's here. And I'm going to switch back to the, the regular music for a little bit. Um, not Minecraft music. Give me something else. There we go. All right. So, first quiz. Look, uh, I, I know the microphones aren't fully working, but um, I'm going to... Oh, wait, what? You're going to leave? I don't think Dario's coming back, guys. Apparently, he, I don't know what's going on with him. 
Whatever. Let's get on with this. We've been wasting way too much time. Already, what, 20 minutes in? Oh, dang. So, first quiz. Let's do these questions. Fun, Feel free to do it along with me. So, um, Portal, which Portal character are you? You've been working night and day on a project for school, but you notice one of your classmates has stolen your idea. What do you do? Now, I love this because it's actually asking questions that aren't related to a Portal. It's just kind of concepts. Which, you know, and it's not like in your face like, oh, if you pick this, you'll be this character. Because the whole point is that it doesn't actually check out, like, who it is. Um, because obviously some people just want a particular character to be. I just want to see what they get. You're just wasting my time? Ah, You're not wasting my time, Dari. I mean, okay, maybe you are wasting my time a bit. But it's not like you can help it. If you want to come back, just let me know. But maybe just use text chat. Um, so... One of your classmates has stolen your idea for a school project. What do you do? What do you do? What do you guys think? Sabotage, tell the teacher. Accuse them of stealing while they're presenting. Let them steal it. Make something better. I'll come up with something else. What do you what do you guys think? What are you picking? Uh I think I'm gonna pick the second option. Second one. Tell honest. the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's probably what I would do in real life. Uh, but I want to have some fun and also I finished school so like if I ever go back to school for whatever reason I'm just gonna mess around. It's gonna be great. What I wish I would do in the cool uh, alternate universe where I'm a bad boy. I would probably Probably choose one the either the first or the third yeah, option first. I'm thinking because the third option If they're presenting before me, I don't know might not look good Doing that in front of everybody. I think sabotage might be the funniest one. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I would probably tell the teacher. I'm not sure. If one of my classmates stole my idea, I'd probably... I, well, what I would really do is talk to them about it and ask them not to do that. But that's not an option here. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably talk to the actual person first yeah. before, you know... Doing any of okay, these things. actually, I I don't want to be boring, but I probably would just tell the teacher because I I'm not I'm not like it's just a school project. I I don't care enough to sabotage or accuse them. If it was a big deal, maybe no. I'm just gonna tell the teacher. Someone comes up to you and starts making fun of you. Whatever you do, I lash out at them. They don't know what they're talking about. Roll eyes, witty comeback. I love doing witty comebacks. Um, I pinpoint all their biggest insecurities and exploit them. They mess with the wrong person. I laugh in their face. I know I'm better than them anyway. Uh, I'd probably go with three or four because I actually had this recently. So, Community Build started collaborating with uh, a Discord server. I can't remember what it was called. It's on here somewhere. If I go to... Uh, yeah, they started climbing with somewhere called ArcadiaPlex. The server's shit. It sucks. Um, it's inactive. The only conversations there are the kind of like two or three reply snippets of Hi! E! And, um... After like three days, no one even acknowledged like my only attempt at a conversation there. And then like, I think in the second thing, my second conversation, so the only reply I got was someone making fun of me. They said something really dumb. It was like, um, oh, what did they say? They said like, uh, it's, oh yeah, I was there was someone posted like an OC. I was like, wait, that's a server admin. I saw that on Reddit. And they were like, it's your mom's OC, OC loser. And I was like, <sighs> and I waited like a day and like no moderators even like, Sort of like there were no replies. It was completely dead. I was like, what the fuck? The server's moderation is non-existent. So I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe I should try a witty comeback because it could be funny. I'm going to put this person in their place, man. You can't be talking to strangers like that. So I pulled the uh, who? Who asked? Which is pretty lame. They responded with a gif that was just full of just mind-numbing Redditor-style uh, comebacks. Uh, and then I told them uh, to... I hope that they, they get the help they need. And uh, I left because... I'm not wasting my time down there. I feel like it would be a bit over the top to just exploit their biggest insecurities. I'm going to have a witty comeback. I mean, it really depends. Like, if, if someone's making fun of you, that could be something very lighthearted, very, you know, not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It, it shouldn't be, you know. Um, I, I think I'd probably choose two again. Yeah. Uh, for the second question or the third question? Or the second question. Yeah, speaking of, on a 3 out of 10 now. I also just want to point out that people are saying, uh, I forgot to respond to this, but uh, Dario and Nuba have pointed out that I'm on 690 subscribers, so uh, it's pretty nice. And also that means uh, the special live stream I do at the end of the year, where you can decide 
what I do. I'm going to do that for 40 minutes because I'm doing a challenge. Every subscriber is another minute for a stream at the end of the year, guys. It's a bit of a challenge thing I'm doing. Um, exactly, DJ. Yeah, I think sabotage would be like the second choice. First choice is tell the teacher. It's just, you know, professional. Um, but yeah, uh, nice, nice, nice. And yeah, do tell me your answers, guys. Really interesting to see this. Uh, come back. It's good, good call. You tried to call your significant other, but they won't pick up the phone. Can we just get an F in the chat for everybody here who doesn't have a significant other? Because even though I've had a girlfriend for like the best part of two years now, I'm kind of like, my mindset's still like, oh, wait, I don't. Oh, no, that does apply to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy. Uh, just pretend, I guess. They won't pick up. Even after texting them, they won't respond. What do you do? Uh, go to their house. <laughs> Be a Sigma male. And instead of, instead of replying with LOL, go to their house and laugh in their face. <laughs> F's in the chat just because you asked. Yeah. I don't know why society has built up this requirement that everyone needs a romantic significant other. It's just a kind of trivial. Like, I can understand... Um, maintaining, you know, uh, mass loyalty to the concept of the family unit for social stability and obviously, you know, reproduction for the sake of uh, survival, but we're overpopulated and, you know, uh, a lot of people will get by just fine, you know, living alone or, or living with friends and not necessarily having, you know, husband or wife and children um, and, you know, pay their taxes. <laughs> Again, a one-size-fits-all kind of, I don't know, um, cultural mindset. I don't think it's very healthy, and we are stepping out of that, although I, again, it varies from country to country. I don't know too much about the, uh, kind of, you know, policies on that. Um, yeah. Anyway, I haven't even read the answers. Sorry, I'm deviating. Feel free to jump in if you just want to re respond to anything I'm saying. Um, you know, don't worry about interrupting me. I do it all the time. So, oh, right. uh, so what do you do? Fear they're cheating me. Uh, bring it up. The project's busy. No big deal. I'll call or text them repeatedly until the answer starts to worry about them. I get angry and even longer to rant their inbox voicemail about how they don't appreciate me enough. <laughs> God damn. So basically, the question is, are you in a toxic relationship? Or if you were, do you know how to treat other human beings in, you know, a partnership? Um, there's probably a lot of children who have picked the wrong options here, which is sad for their children. Um, um... I would probably go number four. <laughs> I know my girlfriend would go number four. I, th I know my girlfriend would go number four. It was the other way around, but it's uh, I would probably be number two. It depends. Like, how long has passed? Is it a day or a week? This is a big difference. I'm going to go number two. You're in a therapy session? Whoa, this escalated quickly. <laughs> this, uh, this quiz has lore, guys. This is like the c continuation of the story, so... You know, we've broken up, our relationship has become tense, now we're seeking therapy. Uh, I think my crush likes me. Damn, boy. I mean, in a hypothetical situation, I can't really, like, say what I would do, because, like, I don't know what, what I'm- what I'm doing- Right? Why like, I'm this here. is- this is deeply personal, and also very vague. So- so you use time to talk about insecurity to welcome better self-image. Session to process and traumatic pain for time to me. Trust levels and how people accept me. Show me such paper. This doesn't really make sense because these are all different reasons to be in therapy. Uh, is it asking maybe if you were in therapy, why would you be in therapy? Um, I don't know the answer to that. Oh, it's a little confusing to be honest. Yeah. All right, let me think about this. Insecurities and better self-image. Anyone who knows me well will tell you that I don't give a shit about self-image or reputation. I'm honestly just waiting to get, like, cancelled on Twitter. Um, because, you know, I'm clearly a social media giant. I'm, I'm, I'm not, but if, if this channel ever does grow like people are hoping it does. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm kind of expecting it. I need to, I need to make, like, a, a pre-planned kind of, uh, apolog YouTuber apology video. That's just, like, a template for anything, any, like, controversy that happens, because, like... It's like everyone I know is just a ticking time bomb for controversy. Everyone I've ever idolized and respected has at one point or another been involved in some, I don't know, scandal. And it's just it's a matter of time before everybody gets exposed for something terrible. <sighs> uh, traumatic or painful. Um, uh, I, uh, I was at high school for... I chose to stay at high school for two years. That was pretty traumatic. <laughs> 
Uh, stress levels? Uh, not anymore. I, I, I did have some real problems with stress as a teen, but that's just because the system, not, not these days. Most people do, I think. What, which teens don't have, like, problems with stress? Um... I, from a buggy. I honestly don't know what to pick here at all. Yeah. Alright, let's just think. What would be, regardless of the situation, the most helpful thing? What's the most helpful thing? I think facing fears and anxieties, because that kind of encompasses all of the above. I'm going to go with that one. I think I'll go with that one as if well. If overcoming fear is a powerful thing, and that could relate to things like Tron, like say if, if you were leaning towards option two. Dari, I'm not going to remove you, mate. You've All right, you've planned this collab. You're in the thumbnail. You're sticking with us, all right? Dario, you can still use the chat to tell us your answer to each of the quiz, all right? So come, come, do it with us. Uh, you witness somebody you don't know being bullied. Ah, oh, classic setup. What do you do? Nothing. I don't know them. I don't want to get involved. Well, if you've seen Spider-Man 2, you know. <laughs> I walk over and pretend to be their friend in order to get them out of the situation. So you basically become Doctor Who. Stand up for them. I am the one being bullied. I join in. <laughs> Holy shit. I am the one being bullied. I join in. I would Wait, not be... What does I am the one being bullied mean in this situation? I have no idea. It doesn't really make sense. I think it's like, oh no, I wouldn't be walking by. I am I'm bullied frequently enough that I just get picked on. I would be the bully. It's more likely. Uh, uh, or vice versa. That's what those bottom two are. I would definitely be the third party. And although I am, will honestly say, sadly, there have been times where I've done the top option. I can't remember anything specifically, but like I had this whole mindset in high school to just keep my head down and just avoid any social interaction whatsoever. And I think that included ignoring people who were. Yeah, really honestly, bullied, I which I, I do regret. I'd say the same thing. Maybe two. I mean, maybe one or two. But uh, the thing is, I am not in a position thing. of authority. Like, it, the, the, I think the closest thing I would get to this, sadly, uh, in while I was in school, uh, would have been, like, telling the teacher. Um, the thing is, like, nobody deserves to be bullied, but, like, I wouldn't just take sides. What If, if, I, di if I wasn't just going to ignore them... Um, because normally, like, someone else sorts it out anyway, the teacher, but it, I'm, I'm keep thinking school scenarios. Like, let's ignore that. Like, I probably would just inquire into, like, what exactly the conflict is before making, like, any kind of judgment. Um. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't want to pick the top option, because ignorance, like, uh, inaction is, like, you know... All that evil needs to manifest is the absence of good, you know? So, like... I could just be the victim. <laughs> Makes my life easier. No. Uh, mm, uh, stand up for them, because even if there is a valid reason for bullying, like, you know, it's... It's not what you would hate it. They're, they're, you, they're, you know, you don't sort out problems by bullying people. Anyway. All right. I selected two. Biggest insecurity. Ah, okay, good choice. I like that. That's the cool choice. I'm not cool enough for that, but that's like the, like, Bucky Barnes choice. Uh, number six. What's your biggest insecurity? I feel like I'm not smart enough, feel worthless and or unloved. I feel like anything I do isn't enough. I feel ostracized from other people because of my own quirks. I feel like I'm not good at anything. Oh, I'm so quirky. Hmm. This is, uh, this has got real. Uh... The thing is, right, I'm actually worried I'm the other way around with the smart enough thing. If anything, I consider myself smarter than I actually am just because I'm so used to other people around me being stupid. That doesn't make you smart, that just makes you, like, you know, not stupid, but... Worthless, not unloved? Eh, no, I got a pretty good, you know, support group, family, friends. I think I'm okay in that regard. I feel like anything I do isn't enough. I don't even know what that means. I mean, I've heard people, like, say that, except, like, I honestly don't fully understand either. I feel ostracized from other people because of my own quirks. Quirks? Honestly, yeah. Um, I know this is stupid, I mean, guys, but I don't hear this word often enough to actually have the definition memorized. 
It's just like a definition I mean, of quirk. Quirks is just kind of like something different, right? Right. I mean, that's what I thought. A, a peculiarity of action, behavior, personality, or mannerism. Um, there's lots of different definitions here, but no, we are talking about that top one for sure. So, a peculiarity of behavior, idiosyncrasy. Great word, Idio idiosyncrasy. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Idiosyncrasy. I think. I think I'm gonna. I would choose um, four. Probably. Good choice. At I'm this actually. Point in time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't consider myself, you know, uh, quirky, you know, Emily, uh, they, them, BLM, Rainbow, Twitter account, you know, the whole, what's the other thing they had? Um, yeah, blue hair. I feel like but, quirky is like, a, like, I don't know, it's not like a normal word to use. Anything that else. deviates from normal. The thing is, like, I question if there is really such a thing as normal because humans are so, so diverse as people. But, like, we are talking about, you know, personality traits, maybe even just physical traits. Like, oh, you dye your hair blue? That's very unique. That is not common. That is quirky, even. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, even, like, your interests, or a personality I would say, mm. are, like, quirks. Okay. Right? I'm gonna be honest. I do get a bit of number five, because... The best I hope for a lot of the time is being a jack of all trades. I don't have any niche skill or ability or anything that really makes me distinctive. I'm not an interesting person. I don't have cool anecdotes to tell at parties. I don't go to parties. Um, <laughs> so in that regard, it's like I'm kind of okay at most things and completely unable in a bunch of other things. There's nothing I'm really good at. And that's genuinely how I think about myself. And I'm, I hope to change that, but I think, you know... The only excuse for that is that I'm only 20 and, you know, are, are people usually, like, experts in anything at my age? The true answer is they are. I'm holding myself up to a high standard because I do want to be the best, but... Yeah, uh, maybe one day I'll be really good at something. I don't know. Something, you know, that isn't totally dumb, like, you know, stamp collecting. No offense to stamp collectors. Uh, having big collections is actually really impressive. You, you go. But uh, I'm actually going to go number four as well because the thing is, guys, and this was most evident at school... In the real world, in my locality, where I couldn't meet with like-minded people online, you know, in those times, like, I was really uh, a, bit, a bit of an outcast, gotta be honest. I'm not even sure why, I'm not sure what exactly, what exact quirks I have, but I think in just terms of personality, interests, hobbies, I didn't have much in common. Like, I don't, you know, do mainstream stuff like watch, you know, shit TV and, 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 and play sports. I mean, I, I do enjoy a good bit of football, but like... Not a fan of football culture, and I, I just, I don't I didn't really get along with people in school. I was just kind of there oh, in the background. Boy. Bit of all of them. <laughs> oh, buddy. Pick the most relevant one. It's not necessarily bad things, you know. I'm really, I'm, I have no idea which Question. characters this is going to take me towards as well, which is fascinating to me. This feels like a good quiz. So, you know what? You can read that number seven, Froggy. Froggo? Froggy? Frogmas? What? Part of Portal do you like best? Yeah, I love man. learning about all of Aperture's creative inventions and how they work. I love the storyline and seeing the interactions between GLaDOS and Stealth. I love the lore of the game and learning about the backstories of the characters. I love learning more about science and engaging with those elements in the game. I like testing because it makes me feel useful and I feel clever after completing one. This is really interesting. It's all the different aspects of the game. Yeah, good choice, because I can see, like, there's different types of fans. Let's say this was FNAF instead, which, by the way, is the only personality quiz set left um, after Portal Guides. FNAF's the only one left. I might add more. I'm thinking about it, because there were only five guys in a religion, but, like, if this was FNAF, you know, the last one, the gameplay, that's true play. You know, the second one, the kind of, you know, characters and story, that's Lucy. I'm the lore guy, so I'll probably go with, like, number three. But for Portal, the science is pretty cool. I'm not a scientist. I know... I used to know a guy who would definitely pick, you know, one of these. Um, and I think that's very interesting. Um, but I think I have to go storyline. I think just think... I like the characters. Wheatley as well as GLaDOS and Shell. I, those three. Yeah, Dave I, Johnson. 
GLaDOS is a really good character. Right? Player. So interesting. So much depth. And it's like, I do love the lore in the game, the backstories. That's tied into it. But I think what's more important is what that serves, which is the main story. Story, lore. There's a big distinction. So yeah, I'm also going to go number two. You play Portal yeah. for the story. You keep playing it for the gameplay. And you, you know, engage with the fandom for everything else, I guess. Yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, um, most like the last option, bit of all of them, little plus theories. Nice, nice, nice. Right? I always feel accomplished too new, but the puzzles in Portal are so difficult, especially later on. You want to join the FNAF personal test down the road? The personnel? <laughs> no, personality test. Yeah, FNAF. I'm sure we'll get lots of people joining. Hello. Somebody Platy. is in the waiting room. Howdy. Oh, hello. Is it Dario? Platy, Platy why are you uh, in the waiting room? Sorry, pal. You're not invited. Should have booked in advance if you want to be in voice chat. Um, you know, right. I, I thought we'd established this like months ago. Even now, ah, forget it, whatever, Pl Platy, just let, let him be. So, if you could pick something about yourself that you like, what would it be? Finally, something positive. This is all like, uh, tell me about your, your deep mental trauma and your insecurities. Finally, we're getting something positive. What do you like about yourself? I don't reflect on myself that much. I really struggle with it. Like, I don't know what to do. Um, so I don't really Pretty, think about it. I can, I would say, uh... I would say five. So, problem solver, sense of humor, intelligent, generous, bold, and creative. I mean, not to toot my own horn, I've been um, hammered into uh, modesty by the force of, uh, you know, lack lack of any, uh, e e you know, ego support. Um, what do I like about myself? Eh, maybe. <laughs> Let me think. Problem solver. I do like solving problems. I think I'm great at solving problems. Everyone else thinks I'm shit. Uh, sense of humor. Mm, no. Intelligent. <laughs> I wish. Uh, generous. Generous. What I use straight off the bat is I'm not gonna choose to. Cause like already you can see like, I mean, I bet if somebody else was in here besides me, the stream would be way more interesting and there'd be a lot of conversation. And, but like, I mean, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm not extremely interesting <laughs> to talk to. Well, I'm not like extremely video. interesting to talk to either, that makes two of us. You're doing fine, mate. Um, no, every time I, every time I come, uh, every time I come with you, like, I mean, there's something like, like, I mean, talking to you is interesting. <laughs> well, it's easier because we can bounce off each other. It's a conversation instead of a monologue. And also, like, we are actually, we only met recently, so there's a lot we don't know about each other which we can talk about. Yeah. Hey, Lois, did I ever tell you about that one time I went to the, 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 the gay wedding funeral in, in yeah. Kazakhstan? Yeah, Family Guy throwaway reference joke, because that's still funny. Please improve your writing, guys. It's getting repetitive. Um... Generosity, sadly, can be a weakness. I have been too generous in the past, and it has cost me. Bold and creative would be pretty cool. I, you know what, actually? I think I'm also going to go number five. Because something I know for a fact is that I am those two things. I'd like to say I'm a good problem solver, but people disagree with me with that. I'd like to say I'm funny. People say I'm funny, but I don't think I'm that funny. People say I'm intelligent. Some people call me an absolute... Well, I can't repeat the words on stream, but some people say I'm stupid. You know, but worse. <laughs> And uh, generosity, oh, uh, you have to very finely balance generosity. Too much of a good thing is worse than too little. And yeah, bold and creative, however, you know, like, I'm undeniably creative. I create shit. Look at these live streams. Look at all of the things I've done in, I don't know. I made some video games. I made some FNAF games. They were terrible, but I made them. I used to draw. And bold, honestly, I would love to do debates and challenge the status quo, maybe get a little political. Oh, wait, that's right, I do. That's one of my main running long-term, you know, since the beginning series of the YouTube channel. It's the actually the only series that's still here since the start. It's going to be the first... I've just realized, guys, Debate Director is going to be, like, the only series that's going to be always there. Everything else is going to come and go or change into something else, but Debate Director never changes. Bold and creative. Sorry I'm taking so long on this one. We're only on the first quiz and we're already like 40 minutes in. I should hurry up. Here's a quick one. Which song of GLaDOS is your favourite? Still alive once you're gone. Cara Mia Adio. Oh. It's, uh, it's been a while since I've listened to 
the any of these except I think want you gone right now. I could I could play them right now on the stream. I think do I have them here? Because I've put the credit in the description. Like we're all good. Oh, it's gonna take ages to find them though. Okay, so still alive is the music from the end of the first game. Um, do 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 do. And you know, want you gone is the do 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 do. Uh, from the end of the second game. Karamia Adio is yeah. the one that plays just before Want You Gone, when Shell is finally going back to the surface. It's the one in with like the Latin lyrics. I don't know what that means. Uh, Karamia Adio has the most meaning, I think. Uh, but I, I'm actually, I actually think Still Alive is the most iconic. I just like the melody the I, most. I'm gonna choose Want You Gone here. Good actually. choice. Want You Gone, Want You Gone is really good in, in a lot of ways, but yeah. Um, lastly, who do you think you got? I'm trying to think. So the options are GLaDOS, Wheatley, Shell, Doug, Ratman, and Cave Johnson. Interesting how they have Ratman on here. I'm trying to figure hey, out my yeah, answers. Right um, God, what were my answers? Can I show all? Oh, this is nice. I can see my previous answers. Okay, so everyone, go through the quiz. This is your time. So I tell the teacher, respond with a witty comeback. Uh, no big deal. Face fears and anxiety. Stand up for them. Feel ostracized by the quirks. Storyline. Bold and creative. I'm thinking maybe Cave or Doug Ratman. I'm not sure. I have I, no idea how this works, but I don't know. I think I don't think I got Glados or we. I think I had to got. I had to have gotten one of the. Then again, guys. I said I thought I was most like Wheatley. I put it in the thumbnail. I'm picking Wheatley. All right. Are you guys ready? Yes, Flatty. Yes. Hello, Livy. Thank you for joining. Guys, I'm gonna submit my answer. Here we go. Boom. I am Doug Ratman. Same. What the hell? Doug Ratman? Really? I guess it's probably because we said creative. We are brave, selfless. Our frowns can count on us to do the right thing, even when you spend your own life on the line. You are dependable, kind, and don't let people walk all over you. Sometimes, however, your selflessness crosses the line when you begin going out of your way to help people who don't even notice or appreciate your existence. You had to make it personal. When you love someone, you love them with all your heart. Give it your all, whether they reciprocate it or not. Uh, I guess. Uh, you are very generous to the point where you forget to take care of you. Okay. Um, actually, actually, I think, I, I think I've got an hang of that one. You're very generous to the point where you forget to take care of yourself. So remember to take some time self-care. It's not always about your companions. I would like to say that I've recognized those flaws and actually worked on fixing them. I don't really know, though. Um, yeah. Interesting. We both got Doug Ratman. And actually, these are all absolutely true. If you guys have read the comic, where we see his story, it's so good. So, what did you guys get? DJ got Ratman as well. Who didn't get Ratman? Did Dario get Ratman? Yes. Goodbye, my dear. It's Italian. Thank you, Dario. Yes. Cara mia adio. It's, it's Italian. That was it. Also, Nubit's asking, I kind of love the content you make, and I wish to be kind of more social. So, if there's a debate direct soon with your invites open, are there any requirements? Guys... Before I continue, um, for anyone wondering, how do you get on Debate Direct? What's the requirements? There's basically none. Um, like, I've never had to, like, I don't know, you know, blacklist anybody from being banned of joining. But basically, on the community tab, I send out invites to, uh, with the title Debate Direct Collab Opportunity every week, okay? I usually do them on Thursday, so it's three days in advance of the Sunday when we go live. And it will have a copy paste that goes something along the line of the, or something along the lines of this. At time on date, I will be title, uh, you know, topic of the debate direct. If you would, I don't know why these big spaces are here, by the way. I'm gonna fix that. If you'd like to be in the stream, contact me by commenting or, uh, well, I need to update this because it's been on multiple apps, But like, you basically contact me by leaving a comment. You need to join voice chat. And today you need to join the Discord server, which is obviously the Hydration Nation. You can see we're in the rec room right now. I'll ping you a few hours before so you know where to go and answer questions and explain stuff in voice chat just before we start. Although you can also ask questions on there. So I ping you in live VC meets and I'm like, guys, uh, we're starting at this time. Just be there like five to ten minutes before. So people go to the waiting room. I drag them into the rec room. I tell them basically I'm going to deafen and then I'm going to unmute and you can introduce yourself. So please like, you know, stay muted until you're ready so you don't like, you know, go live without realizing that the your voice is being heard by you know anyone in the world who can see this video and you know frog balloon you can see commented down below dario commented here 
Uh, and then, you know, uh, I already have these guys in Discord, so it was an easy matter of contacting them. You know, they're both on my server. So, yeah. The Discord's the main thing, guys. If you don't have Discord, just please get Discord. There's really no other way of, like, voicing with me. It's much simpler. I've never had problems with it, actually, because everyone uses Discord. Um, not saying to support any kind of monopoly, but it is a pretty good service. So, service, not surface. And yeah, um, the only requirements really is being able to show up on time, having access to voice chat, um, you know, internet connection, computer. Uh, uh, unless, like, you give me a reason to ban you from joining Debate Rx, there's no reason you should be able to join. Anyway, Doug Ratman, let's keep that in mind. Next quiz. So this one, guys, this is the second one, which I am now linking in live chat. Everyone go check out the link. It's in live chat. You can go see it for yourself. Right. Let's go. So, uh, no thank you. Right. Okay. Let me guess here. Um, it's gonna be, so already, what's your favorite color? I'm gonna guess that blue is gonna be Wheatley or something. Yeah, I, I don't know which character is gonna be options, but I'm gonna assume it's something along the lines of the last five. By taking this quiz, you yeah. probably already know about the awesome, in my opinion, game portal. If you don't, please search it or you will probably want to understand your outcome. Please note that- wait, what? Which character from the game are you? Take this quiz to find out. Please note that some outcomes may not be true to gender. There is only one male result, so if you're a male and you get a female result, don't take it too seriously. What? Why is- what? why does gender matter in the slightest? It's a personality test. Yeah. There's probably studies on this which will prove me wrong in a limited and specific way, but I don't believe gender, or more correctly, sex, will have any impact on, um personality like it doesn't matter what you're born with or what you choose to be I'm, I'm pretty sure in terms of personality it doesn't I mean there are some biological traits which influence personality for sure but I think it's largely to do with environment and experience because that forms your memories which forms informs your decisions which forms who you are anyway right let's get on with this favorite color out of these why are red and pink together? What does that mean? Red, pink? Is it red or pink? <laughs> Black mean, is technically under color. kind of the same color, just pink is like a lighter version. I'm gonna be that guy, I'm gonna pick black, because my favorite really is purple and it's not here. Um, oh. if there's only I one male that. result. I think it's only gonna be like GLaDOS, Shell, and Wheatley. It must be very limited, because there's a lot of- there's more male characters in this game. I don't know why they wouldn't be here. So yeah, someone's talking constantly, yeah. it's annoying you. What do you do? Out of these. Finger to lips, right. I'm not touching someone else's lips with my finger. I've had that happen to me, it's disgusting. Bacteria spreads. <laughs> Walk away. Uh, that doesn't work. Tell them to shut up would probably be what I'd do, but I wouldn't be too impolite, depending. Smile and say, please be quiet. Uh, try to turn it to a subject you like. That's a pretty nice one there, but I think I would go with the fourth one and then the first one and then the fifth one. Somebody you said... Something you said just started a fight. Your response. Go through these more quickly, but feel free to tell me if you... The second anything. one is actually worth... Would actually... I mean, it's worked for me in the past. I uh, think I would use the second one. Walk away? Really? Okay. I've tried running away and it doesn't work. Kids are... Uh, yeah, worst. because that's like a reaction running away, but when somebody just walks right past you, doesn't even look at you, like, I mean... Oh, uh, yeah, that's a big brain, that's what, big brain. What, what, I mean, what they're looking for is a reaction, so, Yeah, like, they're usually I mean, following me, that's the thing. I'm thinking of, yeah. like, kids from, like, year groups below me in school, you know, like, I haven't really been around children since I was a child, to be honest. Uh, only ones who are slightly younger and, like, you know, like, hey, just trying to annoy me, I don't know. Something you said just start to fight your response. Get out, try to find an agreement, get into it. You should find, find an excuse to bug the one guy that's even annoying you. <laughs> Again, guys, there's a continual narrative here. This is, uh, this is like a, this is an alternate universe canon, okay? It all began with a conversation about your favorite color, but you were getting annoyed about this guy talking to you about the favorite color. So you react to them, and it started a fight. You see, there's a narrative here, guys. This, uh, our actions have consequences for the next question. <laughs> Oh no, someone's beating up your best friend. You see, your best friend got pulled into it now. That's so funny. Um, walk away and tell somebody who likes fights anyways. You just stand and wait for the commission to be over. I've never been in a fight. Um, try to find an agreement, I think. 
Or maybe get out, honestly. Depends. Nah, if, if it's, I started it, I'm gonna finish it. Oh no, someone's beating with your best friend. Uh, beat up the bully. Fall to your knees and beg to let them go. Please. Yell insults. Get out of there before they tug yeah. you. Tell someone. <laughs> I definitely would not work. Alright, well, obviously, I'm gonna get physical. Like, if someone's beating up my best friend, I don't have a best friend, but let's say I did. You know, any one of my friends. Like, I'd get physical. I'm not, I wouldn't, I, well, the thing is, I wouldn't beat up the bully, but I'd push them apart, and, you know, that would probably lead to being up the bully, because yelling insults will do nothing. Running away is cowardly. Telling someone, you know, isn't gonna prevent the damage. It's gonna be like, oh, well, they got beat up, and the guy got away. Even if they get caught, it's like, oh, that already happened. Falls your knees and beg is just, just stupid. I wouldn't beat up the bully, but it's the closest thing to what I would do, which is to just, um block them rather than actually attack them you know i'm thinking defend rather than attack i know people say offense is the best defense but that's a very situational thing unless you guys disagree purple guy yeah anyway hey livy go companion cube nice okay oh, yeah that's the other person who joined right uh, I think so. Yeah, we've had a few people come and go. You know how it is. Um. Okay, which motto is closest to yours? I don't have a motto, but there are numerous mottos which I adhere to and I respect. Friendship is better than money or fame. Sometimes. Actions speak louder than words. Absolutely. Perseverance is the key to unlock anything. Mm, yes and no, because technically that's RNG manipulation. You know, you just... If you repeat something enough times, you'll get lucky. Violent is spelled B-A-D. I, I don't agree with that. That's factually uh, incorrect. No no one says that. That's not a motto. I want to I wanna promote violence just to spite whoever wrote this now. I don't have a motto. <laughs> Nobody can tell me what to do. <laughs> there you go. No, I don't have a motto. Okay, Nobody can tell me what to do. Sometimes words are louder than actions. Sometimes money and fame are better than friendship. Sometimes perseverance isn't the key to everything, all right? There's no cut and dry solutions to everything that like you can blanket across every situation. Different situations call for different mottos, needs, and purposes. I don't have a motto. Get out of here. I chose two, but then I would actually... Uh, I know, by the way, this is going to draw me towards Cave Johnson if he's an option. Uh, it says there's only one male, though. But they can't not have Wheatley. Um... Imagine if they didn't have Wheatley, my that, gosh. That would be sad, like, jeez. Number six, when in doubt, get out. When in doubt, let it all out. When in doubt, does this have to rhyme? When in doubt, get out, doubt. When in doubt, never pow. I love these. So when in doubt, get out, when in doubt let it all get out. out of doubt. Get out, I think that's perfect advice, basically, you know. <laughs> uh, never, like, never pow. Uh, okay, but if you're if you're feeling like pouting and you're not being honest about that That's gonna cause problems down the line because you're bottling up your emotions Getting out you can't run away from all your problems letting it all out yeah. might not be the tactical You know decision you have to do that in a very limited and specific way Which is healthy for you and the people around you does it have to rhyme? Yes, which means that the only option left is get out of doubt meaning that this is the correct answer anyone who picked another answer is wrong factually um, If we were in doubt get out of doubt it's simple as like guys that's, that's a hilarious motto why are you homeless just buy a house <laughs> why are you poor just get money <laughs> yeah why, why why don't why are you unemployed just get a job i'm unemployed i'm just getting a job that's what i should do i'm such an idiot I'm such a fucking moron for not having a job I'm getting close, guys. I got a good application on the way. It should be back in about a week. I don't know why it takes so long to respond. Like, I'm like dead ass, real talk, guys. I've applied for like a dozen like minimum wage jobs. I'm talking cleaning, retail, hospitality, and it's like, oh, we'll be back in nine days, and you know, so I'll be able to reply in a week. And I'm like, I'm not even like important in the grand scheme. Like, I thought it'd be quick, pretty cut and dry, quick case for these kind of jobs. Like, they're really simple. You don't need to be that good at them to do them. Even though everybody obviously does want high standards, they keep praising that. Maybe I actually, uh, because I'm in a first world country, the standards are higher, you know? If I was in a second world country, I'd be balling. <laughs> or, you know, victim of a drug cartel, you know, in debt. Something stupid. 
Prime, am I right? So FNAF 1020, exactly, Nubert. Exactly. Companion Cube, you already know why. Yep. I smell a lot of Twitter users about to cancel you. Let's go, bring them on. Because the thing is, guys, once I've been cancelled once, it doesn't get much worse. The first time somebody's cancelled is always the biggest. It would only be a problem if it was happening continuously. Or you could just be like uh, Jay Schlatt, even though Jay Schlatt is uh, a bigoted asshole who doesn't deserve to have a, the voice he does. But that's a story for another day. Um, it, it, you know, I respect the way that he avoids being cancelled. I think it's pretty, pretty epic, but I wouldn't say he was based. Um... I don't know. Get me cancelled already. I want to get out of the way because it is inevitable. No way. Anyway, <laughs> are you good at remembering? Are you good at remembering? Am I? Wait a second. Am I good at remembering? Anyways, guys, so let's do question seven. Right. So let's do question seven. No, I don't have dementia. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone who out there is dementia. It's a real serious thing. One of my charity shoutouts is actually related to that. Uh, let's move on. Am I good at remembering? I'm young, I'm fit. Yes, the best... Well, actually... Uh, uh, what was the question? Maybe. I chose what was the question. Yeah, I chose maybe because I'm actually... I'm pretty forgetful. Like, I have to write things down in order to remember them. I found my techniques, but like, I'm bad at remembering. Like... DJ has a photographic memory of my older brother, so like I rely on him sometimes for little things. Like Flumpty's two uh, April Fools edition being in the last FNAF stream, guys. That was all DJ. I would have totally forgotten if it weren't for him. And yeah, I have to write things down, it, like and get a method. Like when I'm playing Minecraft and I've got loads of things happening, like in terms of progression, but also like side projects, like building stuff or like, achievements. Yeah. There's like eight likes and seven people watching. People come and go, see now. That's you, you clearly don't understand the fundamentals of how streams work. I guarantee well over 100 people will have watched this stream, but at no single point will more than, you know, nine of them been present at the same time. That is just how the streams work. Maybe not 100, maybe like 50, but like they come and go. Some of them are here, some of them are not here, some of them haven't arrived yet. Oh, you have ADHD. RIP. I haven't been cancelled for anything new, but I'm just kind of... I'm still afraid, but I'm just kind of waiting for it to happen because I need to make my moves very carefully when I do. And it could happen at any moment. One wrong word. I'm okay. going to say the N word. I'm not going to say the N word. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. Uh, pizza. Pizza time. What do you think, Frogo? I'm calling you Frogo now. Um, I honestly, none of the options here. I they spell pepperoni wrong. Like, oh yeah, they didn't put two peas. Okay, so I'm not allergic, so that's not a problem. I don't mind pizza that isn't spicy. Pepperoni was spelled wrong, and I do like pizza that only leaves cheese. I mean, I guess I choose cheese, but this is a really controversial, controversial opinion. <laughs> I would actually choose like uh, Hawaiian pizza with the pineapple and uh, everybody's gonna hate me for that but like it's really good i would like to make a formal apology for all viewers of this broadcast for the uh the the infidels have infiltrated our channel and are spreading propaganda it is all lies do not listen to them i want everyone to get on twitter with the hashtag um and you know cancel this guy Instead of taking action or trying to communicate in a, you know, constructive manner, we're just going to send this guy hate messages until he has to go and see a therapist for having an opinion that is slightly different to the mainstream. Um, oops. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I almost actually blocked him. You're unmuted, dude. I'm really sorry. I did just do it for the meme. It's totally fine. You like pineapple and pizza? You know what? I'm going to be the Giga Chad and I'm going to say, okay, good for you. Yes. If you like it. I, I think half of the people who say that they don't like pepperoni, I mean, uh, pineapple pizza have not even tried it. Right, I've actually had pineapple and pizza and I haven't disliked it. Like, it's been weird and it's like, I hate on it for the meme, but I, I would never take that too far. Like, it's, 
Honestly, like, people put all kinds of weird shit on pizza. I don't care. I've had uh, sweet corn on pizza. Not like it's actually part of the pizza, but it was just part of a dinner because my mum has a habit of fusing, like, uh, cuisine, which is hilarious. Uh, and it was actually pretty nice. And most people would be like, ew. But it's like, it's just I'm, pizza toppings. Yeah, Who cares? I, I think I've, like... I mean, I've had some weird stuff on pizza. I've had, like, peas. I've had corn as well. Like... And, I mean, I don't know. This is why you've been outcasted of society. You're so quirky with your pizza preferences. It's like, you know, you get to know people, you get chatting to girls, and, you know, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, you get close, and you're on your date, and then it's revealed that um, you've ordered, like, this weird pizza, and then that's the turn-off. It's like, everything was going great until that moment, and now... I'm just buying it once, okay? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I shall tell the Italian council everything. The Italian pizza purists I respect, but I also think, as you know, master food creators, they should respect that the rest of the world isn't as good as them. Uh, just tell them that. And you know, that, you know, food is about creativity. And I actually quite like American pizza as well as Italian. And also, um, like, there are, oh, um, are you still speaking? Oh no. No, 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 there no, no. Are, like, there, like, I mean, there are people in America who are just as good and make, like, pizza just the same as people in Italy. Exactly, yeah. All across the world. So. Yeah. Italians, non-Italians yeah. who have just learnt it, you know. I have the urge to buy a Pride Frog mug. Okay. Um, what was uh, I going to say? Yeah, guys, what kind of pizza doesn't have cheese? I've never had a pizza or heard of a pizza that doesn't have cheese. It's like one of the base ingredients. It's like having pizza without the pizza bread. It's like, what? I'm sure it's possible that there are good pizzas that don't have cheese, but like, how could you have a pizza without cheese, tomato sauce, and the, like, base? Like, those are like the core ingredients. That's like the def definition of pizza. If it doesn't have cheese, I don't think it's pizza. Ooh. Yeah, I have had a pizza without cheese and it's not Really? Good. <laughs> What what pe what pizzas exist that don't have cheese? I'm not really a pizza expert. I don't expert, remember, but, but there have I've had I've tried pizzas without cheese. Let me let me look at it. I might find what type it is. Yeah, cause like I I've had a bunch of like very basic ones. I've had ham and pineapple. I've had sloppy Giuseppe with you know the spicy like peppers and stuff. You know I've had like meat meat fest meaty pizzas. You know and obviously just your plain old pepperoni. You know pepperonis on the with the cheese and tomato sauce and you know. I, I think I've had mushrooms on pizza once or twice. Didn't like that one very much, but I'm not really into mushrooms. There's like a whole bunch of things. Um, also, just catch up with chat. Yeah, two slices of leftover Hawaiian pizzas was just ham pizza. Wow. Fair enough, Livy. Fair enough. Um, high spice tolerance. Damn, Dario. Very cool. Bonnie face pizza. Yeah. So, Frogo, what have you found? I think it might be one of these, like vegan pizzas, I try. Oh, oh, those bloody vegans. <laughs> ah, no, there's nothing wrong with being vegan. I mean, I actually, I respect vegans because, honest truth, I would not sacrifice, you know, that much food, that much nutrition for the sake of being better for the environment. Honestly, if it came down to it, I could probably become vegetarian if I wanted to. Um, the reason I, mean, I don't is because... I mean, uh, maybe I could try being vegetarian and not being yeah, like, uh, uh, veganism's great, but the thing is, is that it's, like, it's almost too far, in my opinion, of being sustainable, because then, like, you actually start really struggling with your own nutrition, and I think your own body's health is, you know, you can maintain that, and still, you know, save on, like, yeah, energy and pollution and stuff by being yeah. like, vegetarian, and I mean, you know, meats and fish, you know, can be sourced sustainably, and, like, I, I you know, I'm not vegetarian, because, like, I enjoy eating meat and, and fish, and it helps my, you know, obviously nutrition, and, uh, you know, my mum is very careful to pick the best, you know, uh, most sustainable kind of sources. It, it, I'm not saying it's perfect, I'm not saying that I am not directly responsible for adding my own carbon footprint, but if you really want to look at the mass scale and worry about that, you need to look at the big producers, you know, I'm just an ordinary guy. I, there are I people mean, with worse I eyes mean, than so, me. So, here's the thing, like, if every individual person did, like, start using less uh, like, power and eating less meat right. and stuff, then we would make a big difference, except that's, I mean, if you, if you want to be helpful to the environment, 
you can try and make a difference, except, like, mm. who we really need to be pointing our fingers at for, like, the big pollution and, like, mm. problems with the environment are the big companies. Yeah. Yeah, big corporations who are not being regulated probably because the governments of the world aren't united and they're pointing nukes at each other. Like, the I mean, I'm not saying we're not to blame in the slightest. We are all to blame, but that's okay because we are all also capable of working to do better. I mean, I actually, like, if all of us only ate meat, like, once a week, fish twice a week, which is, you know, plenty, as it is. You know, my mum pretty much decides my diet because she manages all the food in the house. Um, I eat meat. I mean, it depends. Not every day. Not like that much. It's like maybe three times a week. Uh, it it kind of varies. It's not consistent. But um, like if everyone just did a little bit, the difference would be huge. As you say, we don't need to sacrifice that much. Uh, also, there's the pizza. Holy crap. That looks weird. And that I, doesn't have yeah. cheese on it. I can see yellow, but that's not cheese. Yeah, it's not cheese. I don't even remember what it was, but it was not good. It I'm seeing... It looks pizza. like sweet corn tomatoes i want to say basil some kind of leaf uh obviously the pizza crust base um there's something else just kind of smeared i don't know if that's the sweet corn i'm seeing like onion rings as well maybe um yeah there's definitely like some sort of like onions or something similar that would like. be a that's a weird pizza that's not that's not what you want in your sandwiches that's not what you want in your pizza toppings wisp i'm sorry yeah. for if i stole that but i'm gonna say that's not what you want on your sandwich toppings because he says that's not what you want in your sandwiches Anyway, um, I'm wasting so much time. I thought this stream would be like an hour long. It's gonna be like 90 minutes. If you need to go, just let me know, dude. Um, me? Oh, no, yeah. I, I'm, I'm fine. Awesome. I... Maybe somebody will come and interrupt me and I'll have to, like, uh... Like, we'll have to work around that. But, yeah. like, I'm I'm up for staying here as, uh... Awesome. As long as possible. <laughs> Cool. Um, and yeah, just seeing, reading chat, yeah, that's fair enough, guys. Everyone has their preferences, and the progression in science of, like, vegan alternatives is pretty impressive. As long as people are eating healthy and, you know, doing the best they can. So yeah, uh, I would still pick cheese pizza out of all of these anyway. Uh, you're on the internet and someone's using leet. Okay, so, a few months ago, I would have no idea what this is. This is very esoteric kind of, uh, internet thing. But guys, for those of you who don't know, leet is a kind of... Um, let me just look at Wikipedia, it's hard to explain. Leet, or 1137, also known as Elite, or Leet Speak, is a system of modified spellings used primarily on the internet. It often uses character <laughs> replacements in ways that play on the similarity of their glyphs via reflection or other resemblance. Additionally, it modifies certain words based on the system of suffixes and alternate meanings. So, for example, you can see this says Free Kevin here, um, but they've swapped out like some of the letters for the symbols there and it's like that the idea is that it's like saying the same thing it doesn't really work the numbers 1137 oh, roughly wait. resemble the word leet you see that the one is the l the threes are the e's and the seven is the t it's a little off but like and hard to read but yeah it's a pretty popular thing uh, my girlfriend introduced it to me because it featured heavily in uh, homestuck if you don't know that is like me you were living under a rock for a long time apparently I I've heard about Homestuck. I haven't really, like, actually, like, I don't know. Is, I think it's, like, a comic or something. Or it's like an 8,000 page comic that apparently is yeah, just this huge phenomenon. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know I much about it. It kind of went over my head because it was way too complicated. It was like watching Doctor Who Series 6, just, you know, convoluted and not, not in the right way. Kind of I, boring, I, honestly, to get, to get through. Speaking yes, of yes. Doctor Who, ah, I yes. haven't watched the new season at all. Fellow Whovian! I, Let's go! I mean... Yeah, I, I, I watched, like, I've watched all of the previous seasons, and then I just, like, I, like, when... Oh, like, all of a sudden, I just, like, stopped watching with the most recent season, where, like... Doctor Who, but a girl. Oh, my. This is a topic for another stream, and I could talk about this for a long time, but Doctor Who, uh, yeah. to put it politely, oh. has gone down the shithole in the last few years. Not because the Doctor's a woman now, okay? It's nothing to do with that. Uh, although Jody was definitely not the right pick for the play Doctor. No, it's because of fucking Chris Chibnall. Hypocrite and uh, bad writer. He doesn't read reviews, and he's just copying 
previous head writers. He's screwed up the show big time. But there is hope because Doctor Who is still a cult classic. Russell T. Davis is coming back next season for the 60th anniversary. And um, a lot of the production quality is still pretty high, despite the fact that the views have gone down significantly in the last few years because the stories and the writing are just absolutely atrocious. The uh, How much of Doctor Who have you watched? Like, where did you start? 1963? <laughs> 2005? Uh, Eccleston? I mean, I, I've watched, like, all of them... I'm pretty sure, except for the most recent, like, Wait, one. Wait, all of them? Yeah, I'm pretty Ever? sure. Ever? You watched all of Classic Who? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What a badass. Damn. Okay, so <laughs> I've watched everything since Rose, you know, Chris Freckleson, Billy Piper, 2005, you know, Series 1. Um, I've watched bits actually, and pieces I, of I Classic started Who. started with, like, the most, like, you know, um, the, like, the first... I don't know, like, it was like the revamp one, like... Yeah, the the, the revival, know. 2005. Yeah. The episode title was I Rose. Think... You've got Northerner yeah. Doctor, you know, and, and Rose Tyler. And they're running from the Autons. Yeah? That was, uh... Yeah, uh... I, I think that's yeah. when I started. Yeah. Great place to start, but the fact that you've actually gone and watched all of classic Doctor Who from, like, the 20th century as well. I've watched bits and pieces, I've watched a lot of big ones, but not that many. I've been meaning to check out more for years, I mean, never run to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure, but maybe I'm just misremembering. Moving on. I don't know. Well, either way, it's really cool that you've watched a lot of Doctor Who and that you, you remember, you know, back when we had good Doctor Who. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because it's, it's really terrible. Uh, I would keep watching, watch Flux, watch Series 13 just for the sake of continuity and conclusion because I think Chibnall actually is trying to wrap up what he's been doing for the last two seasons. It is garbage, mostly. But I think for the, as a Whovian, you should just see it just to see what is happening, just so you know. That way you can actually experience it and judge it without just hearing spoilers and being like, whatever. And yeah, guys, this is Leet Speak. You see how it says, translate Leet Speak, hi, are you home alone? But they've substituted loads of letters for numbers and stuff. That's what Leet Speak is, okay? Back to the quiz. Cause, oh, man, we could talk about this for ages. I should do a Doctor Who debate direct. Eventually, guys, it'll happen. There's no good Doctor Who video games right now. Like, there's these VR ones. But I don't know VR in, like... I don't know. Eh. I wish the adventure games were still available. I miss those. Am I? Basically, uh, same thing for me. All I've heard about Homestuck is that Toby Fox worked on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, same guy did Undertale and Deltarune. Massive influencer. Love Toby Fox. Hope he doesn't get cancelled for yes. something. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. So, you're on the He's internet awesome. and someone's using Lee. Cool, I can't speak Lee. I know Lee. I know what... Okay, that's, that's not Lee. Uh... I have no idea what he's saying. Is that um okay? So okay, I love how it says I don't want to offend him slash her. Uh, if him slash her had been swapped out with it, I would have probably picked that one. I am not that good at Lee. I can sometimes tell what it's saying, but sometimes it's really hard. I'm gonna go with the fourth option because I don't think I can reliably read Lee. I can sometimes read it. Sometimes. Also, yeah. by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, everybody get up and get something to eat, or more importantly, something to drink, because this is a hydration checkpoint, alright? Everyone, go to the kitchen, get something to drink. I got milk here, I got a chocolate bar, chocolate bar, right? Go AFK, because um, I'm going to just be plugging my own stuff for a minute before we do the final question and end the quiz. So if you need to go AFK, now is the best chance, because I'm going to start telling you about today's sponsor. Uh... <laughs> No, guys, um, if you are enjoying the stream, leave a like, and most importantly, subscribe and share my channel. It would mean a lot to me, it's the best way you can support me, and um, in addition to all of that, um, there are links in the description, obviously, with all the music credits. You can check out, you know, uh, Dario and Frog Balloon, these guys have gained your pages, they're, you know, pretty talented, they're working on cool stuff. And check out today's charity shout out, which goes to Ecosia. Guys, what's the best search engine? What's the best search engine to use? Google Chrome? It's not Bing, is it? We need to wait a minute for the answers to uh, come through. Yeah, it's a rhetorical question. You'll need to switch to Ecosia. If you're dedicated to your current browser, it's fine because you can just add this as an extension to Chrome. I'm actually using Brave with Ecosia as an extension because I did a collab with Brave and Brave is really good, but we'll come back to that. This search engine plants trees. Sounds too good to be true? It isn't, trust me. Look down here, these guys, okay. Uh, have there's a load of reasons why you should use this okay first of all these guys are a non-for-profit 
They dedicate 100% of their profits to climate action and at least 80% to financing tree planting projects directly, okay? Ecosia is 200% powered by renewable energy because they use solar panels, which is amazing. So they're much better than giants like Google who are polluting the earth. And if you don't believe that, you can actually read their monthly reports. They publish monthly reports with the revenue and it's like you can see that on their homepage and see exactly where the money is going because obviously it's not 100% towards, you know, trees. You know, they have to do, you know, have to maintain taxes, operational costs, green investments, spreading the word and actually advertising. But it's a good amount. It is a lot of euros every month. And, you know, you can be a part of this because I remember back when this counter up here was only in like five digits. I remember when it was only on like a couple thousand. I was here early, back when it hit like 69,000. Uh, I just missed it. And now it's 138 million. Number of trees planted by Ecosia users, okay. And it's a completely passive way to help the environment. It's really easy. All you gotta do is switch your browser and then all these internet searches you do will actually add up to something positive instead of, you know, Google's, you know, big dog pockets. Also, if you're the kind of person who like, you know, DuckDuckGo, these guys put privacy first. All searches are anonymized within a week. They don't create a profile for you. They're interested in trees and not data. And, you know, they've proven this by collaborating with the likes of Brave. They actually, Brave actually is also connected to DuckDuckGo. Unlike Google, they don't, you know, store all your information for nefarious purposes and kind of target ads in a kind of suspiciously, you know, accurate way. Um, it's not just annoying, it's actually not illegal, but like, suspicious. And they're completely transparent. They publish detailed financial reports and frequent updates, as I've said. So there's no reason not to switch to Ecosia. There are so many benefits. The link is in the description. Go, add it right now. Install it, right? While I'm still plugging everything else, you've got time. Add Ecosia. You've got... See if you can do it before I finish this segment, all right? Go get Ecosia. I respect, I respect that they show how much of their profits actually go to trees. Because, right? yeah, you're not going to tell me that all of your profits... It's 42% this month, and that's okay, because it's still a lot. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, uh... The reason I'm so passionate about Ecosia particularly is because I actually use it. Like, a lot of these charities I'm only vaguely familiar with, and I know they're good. But Ecosia is something I actively use all the time, and it has done a lot of good. And I am proud to be, you know, an Ecosia user, so switch it out. And yeah, while you're here, if you also want to support me, I have a Discord, Hydration Nation, Community Hub of Mr. Matt, and everything else I do, you can check that out, because speaking of other things, um, I have an Instagram, where you can get notifications, I have a Fiverr page, if you're interested in purchasing uh, my services, I will make thumbnails for you for a cheap price, you know, an actual Fiverr, instead of, you know, £200, like some of these pages do, it's actually less than Fiverr, it's like 300 and, it's like £3.48, um, but most importantly, if you have highlights or memes of my channel based on my content that you want to get more attention, instead of uploading them to your own channel, get in touch and we can upload them to the semi-official, you know, true player run, thank you my dude, uh, Matt's Demist and Hydrated Highlights channels. There's trailers and everything, you should check them out, links are in the description and on the banner. I make the thumbnails for all of these, so I can make a thumbnail for you for free, uh, if it's a meme for one of these. <laughs> um, try, you could trial the, uh, Fiverr service, judged on, based on these, I guess, or the Mr. Matt thumbnails, you know, it's a different style, so... Yeah, and uh, if you just want it on your own channel, but featured here, we've got playlists. We can put on playlists. Duncan Potter has, you know, done some work here. He's not here for some reason, but no, there he is. Holly Jolly Carl has done some stuff. You know, we've got a bunch of people who've collaborated. And uh, yeah, it's really cool to see the community come together on this. So check that out. I think that's everything. I think I've plugged everything I can. Links in the description, guys. All right, just click them. Subscribe. Give me money. I'm kidding. Don't give me money. I don't have a way of doing that because I literally couldn't get it set up. Stream donations. I don't know. I, I If... I had that set up, I would have only had like two donations by now anyway, three donations, so it's no biggie. I'm gonna get my chocolate bar. And I'm gonna wait a moment for everyone to get back from the kitchen, get the hydration, go install Ecosia. I'm gonna finish this. Huh. New bit, I haven't forgotten about that deal. Let's talk about that on Discord because I'm forgetting the details. Mmm. Internet Explorer best browser. Dot dot go. Dot dot goes okay, but yeah, yeah. There was a Doctor Who horror game on mobile with the Weeping Angels. It was okay, I've heard. Hmm. Okay, let's bring it back. Quiz number three is only seven questions, so after this, we're gonna finish it off. 
Do you like math? What do you think, Frogman? Mm. What's math? Hmm. <laughs> mm, it's all nice. Oh. I see people in live VC mutes. Maybe it's garlic or corn. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So you're picking never heard of it, which is quite funny. Yeah, I mean... If I weren't gonna be honest, I mean, but it wouldn't... Like, I mean, I would probably choose, like, uh... The top one or the second one. I'm not a fan yeah. of math. I, in, I mean, I actually like math and, like... Like, uh, in a way, like, but, like, nobody teaches math right. They make it uninteresting. <laughs> yeah, like, I was blessed to have some really teacher, good math teachers, to be honest. I had a teacher who made me, like, love math, and then I was, like, super dedicated to math, and then the next year came along, and I didn't care about math at all. I, exactly. I, like, I actually disliked it. Sadly, the teacher dictates pretty much where you go in life far too much, because children grow up hating subjects, not knowing that they, in another universe, they would have actually been its, their favourite just because they were, weren't taught well. Like, in middle school, I was actually doing really well in math and science, and then I really fell back in high school with math and science specifically. I had a pretty good math teacher, but the actual content was just kind of insane, and I had some pretty mediocre slash terrible science teachers. One of them actively hated children. I don't know what he was doing in the school, but apparently, uh, you know... <clears throat> Who's that, the only one qualified for, like, chemistry or something? For, like, six forms, like, they had to keep him. Absolute bastard. No, Hate him with all my guts. Don't know what his problem was. Glad I'm out of there. <coughs> Excuse me, but, um... Yeah, I... I, yeah. I, I so, what are you doing at a school if you don't like children? Right? Or even just people, because, uh, you know, that teacher was secondary school. I'm talking, like, high school, teens, older teens, almost adults. <coughs> Didn't treat us like people. The, um... There was a lot of incompetence as well, and it varied, and it's like, English and history, the where areas I specialised in were a lot better in terms of the teachers I had, they were very much more consistent and high quality and high standard, and you know, there are a lot of factors, but like in another world, I might have actually been like, a big maths nerd, instead of being someone who kind of, I, I don't hate math, I think math is obviously essential to, you know, a lot of things, like, it's got a massive use, it's the foundation of a lot of, you know, um, it's like English, it's just a massive foundation of everything, the existence of computers, you know, any form of, <coughs> you know, counting, excuse me, like, management, like, all kinds of things, I mean, we wouldn't exist without yeah. math, our, 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 and, we would and, still and be science. banging rocks together without math, you know? Yeah, and science is a part of math as yeah. well. That doesn't mean you have to personally like it, though. And, uh, as someone who spent many hours struggling over repetitive maths homework, and, uh, I actually yeah. had a great teacher, so even though I was doing stuff that I was really bad at, I had a great time doing the, my weakest stuff over and over and over, because my teacher motivated me, and actually, like, you know, some problems is pretty satisfying. The way I got through my maths GCSEs with passable marks, guys, I really focused on my weak areas. The easy areas I knew I could do without any revision. I could, you know, just, just, like, kind of, you know... Do them off the top of my head. It's like two plus two. We know it's four because you know you can count. But like with like things like simultaneous equations or I don't know certain like you know shape like stuff. There were lots of very niche areas which I was really bad at. So I really focused on those and I had a great time. Like in my final school days, you know, revising for A levels, which never came to be, thankfully, <laughs> because of COVID. Maths was the thing I would spend the most time revising because there was so many different things in it which I just didn't get. I'm, I'm I'm kind of indifferent. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I'm going to say help. Somebody's burning it because I think that's a bit of an extreme reaction. That somebody is going to be Frog Balloon. I think with these answers... I'm going to... I think I'm going to be Wheatley. I think I'm going to be Wheatley. Let's see. I think we might... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we... I mean... Who the hell is I Abby? Think we chose 
different answers for most of these, so I don't think we're both gonna be weak. Wait, is it? <coughs> Excuse me. I think this quiz is based on Portal 1, so like, all the Portal 2 characters aren't there. One moment, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my result, and it was very surprising. Hey guys, sorry, had to blow my nose. I don't feel so good. Uh, All right. Right. Who the hell is Abby from Prelude? This is only Portal 1 characters. That's why like Wheatley and Cape Johnson aren't here. That makes sense. So you had Shell, Turret, so, Panicu, Glados. I don't know who Abby is. I got Turret. <laughs> yeah. It's got percentages as well. This is GoToQuiz.com. Overall, through all of these. I, I, I have no idea what this is. Apparently, I'm kind, gentle, and heroic. You are willing to sacrifice even yourself and it means saving the whole group and even hundreds right. of people. You'd love to try new things. I was... A lot of these percentages were close, though. I was clearly Abby, but Shell and Turret yeah. were closer and Kapanki and GLaDOS was further behind. It is so... Selflessness versus selfishness? So, I... Uh, my... What I actually got is Turret at 86%. Yeah. Damn. Uh, GLaDOS and Abby at tied at 83%, and Companion Cube. Ah, uh, yes, Pending, my favorite QOTD. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, 65%. I don't, I don't know, uh, what? <laughs> this doesn't tell me anything. I would have been Shell next, that was very close to Tara. I don't think this is as good a quiz. I don't know who Abby is, I'm gonna have to ask the Portal fans about this. Yeah, I don't even know who Abby is. Yeah. Um, I played through both Portal games. Portal 1 off camera, Portal 2 on camera. As you know, I was stuck in old Aperture for a very long time. Um, I'm just seeing oh, chat. Oh my god. Think... Livy, oh my goodness. What a what a prankster gangster. Also, Darryl, that's really sad. Oh, it's from Jesus. a fan-made Portal game, I think. What? That's not... Oh my god. Why are they putting fan-made crap in here? Well, whatever. I... Let's move on. Like... Wait, let me just check if it's the fan-made portal game that actually got put on Steam. All right, all right. Like, Damn. Um, I vow. DJ similar to me as well. Abby Shell. Uh, yeah. And what? We, sorry, what did you get? Companion Cube. Portal Reloaded is so no. I don't even know what that is. Then. Portal Reload. Portal Reload is a new thing. I don't know. Um, which which character did you get? Me? Yeah. Um, turret. Uh, Gladys and Abby tied for second place, and Companion Cube for third place. Okay. All right, so you're Abby as well. Okay. We're both pretty similar. Let's see if we can break that up with Portal Two, the third Portal Two quiz, which, as always, I will be linking in the stream chat. Everyone can have a go at this. Tell me your results. Let's go. Only seven questions, so let's just get on with this. Let's finish the stream. We've been going for an hour and a half. I think it's time we ended this, because I, I, this was my pace has been off today, and it's getting late. Whatever. Yeah. You see a woman drop her wallet on the ground by accident. The wallet is $200 cash inside. What do you do? There's a lot of options here. I'm not going to read these all out, but basically, you've got a bunch of you know options. You can you know pick it up, take the money, give it back, steal the money, set fire to the wallet. Um, act dumbfounded, act heroic. Not notice it. <laughs> hey, cool, a wallet. Hey, everybody, look what I just found. This is awesome. There's going to be a lot of character options here, so hopefully I'll get Wheatley. I would obviously pick it up and give it back. I am polite. It's her money. $200 cash? Who carries $200 in cash in 2021? How old is this woman? I mean, to be fair, if someone's carrying that much cash, they're probably rich enough that I could steal from the guilt free. But I'm not going to steal. Like, that's just, that's a dick move, man. It's their money. All right. I yeah, am going I, I to give, to give it, back. it back. I don't want anything to do with wrongdoing here. I don't care if she's a terrible person. How am I supposed to know? Favorite genre of move, movies and books. I like the genre where everyone dies in the end. Oh, wonderful. You must be fun at parties. 
What the fuck? I mean, that's, that's probably like Glados or like yeah, uh, Wheatley or something. To be fair, I think that actually is a genre, and I know a good few movies or stories where that kind of is the case. Think Rogue I One, think guys. That, I don't know if that's a genre. I think that's more of like something that can happen in a story. Like you could have a sci-fi book that where maybe it's more of a trope. You could have a fantasy book where everybody dies in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Guys, do you remember how good Rogue One was? I give Rogue One a B. I don't think it was that good, but it was, I mean, it was better than the sequels, you know? Um, something intellectual. I unironically read the entire Sherlock Holmes, you know, catalogue by um, Conan Doyle and all of Lord of the Rings as a kid when I was, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. So I was quite intellectual. My parents are both English and drama teachers, so, you know, I, I, I got my reading age up early, and I've been reading a lot less in recent years because of it. You know, in terms of, like, fiction. I don't have time for that kind of thing. Wow. The third so, question is ridiculous. <laughs> I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, hold on, I'm just reading these. Funny stuff. Uh, <laughs> I like stupid humor in those movies that everyone just crashes into things. You mean slapstick. Astronomy and astrology, the genres that inspire us. We are the tomorrow of the future. That made sense, right? We are the tomorrow of the future? What the heck? I don't know. I don't have a preference for genre. It doesn't matter what genre anything is. Movies, books, games, music. If it's good, it's good. It can be any genre. Don't care. There is such thing as good country music, believe it or not. Even if I don't listen to it that much. The world is ending. Oh god, we're all gonna die. And I should care... Why? Good, now that one person I hate will die. Just gonna ignore the- yeah, everything option. else. Totally. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll save you, heroic poet. This is kind of cringe. This is kind of cringy. Um... The lab boys will just tell me it's a false alarm. Go back to your desks. The world uh, is ending. I'm gonna go with the uh, second to last option. I will go into problem solving mode. I, the world ending is not good for me. I want to prevent that. Uh, I'm not gonna be this. This is the dumb old person who dies early on. I want to see if I can stop it happening. Five. Favorite food. I like these images and I like these my nice questions. Food is the blood from my enemies. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why is that always an option? The blood of your enemies. Who actually picks that? <gasps> scones. I love that. It's like, well, to be honest, I've always been a big fan of scones. Gotta love them. My favorite food is the blood of my enemies. Hamburgers, Triumph, Fruit of Success, Food Does Not Exist, what the fuck? Oh, Rice yeah, Krispies. Food does not exist, that's mine. He does not exist. Close together if I just... He does not exist. Anything but lemons. Uh, I'll go with cake. Oh. Honestly, I'll go with cake. Food does not exist. Don't shoot me, what's your favorite color? Why have you put don't shoot me? This is quite, it's so random, it's probably written by someone who's like 12. Um, favorite yeah, color. Completely random. Why is it? Why is red just a statement, and then blue is just? I, I guess, guess blue, <laughs> right? Like you ask the stupidest questions, but I guess I like, go why. So this kid clearly likes red. Gray. <laughs> I like gray. Gray's a good color. Do you like gray? I like gray. It's like are you implying that gray? All people who like gray are like like hyperactive, like ADHD children. Like what the fuck? <laughs> That's a stereotype, by the way. Grey is not a colour, grey is a mix of all colours. Uh, 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 so, they don't even have, like, most colours. They have, like... They have, I don't know, red, blue, white, which is a shade, grey, which is a shade, grey again, which is a shade, black, uh, green or brown. Uh, what could, what use of colours when you could be doing science? This is terrible. I'm gonna say, uh, oh, black oh again. Oh my because, like, it doesn't have a decent colour here. And this quiz is almost over. How did you like it? It sucked. Like, everything. Oh, I don't want to be that mean. Oh, my gosh. Holy shit. It was pretty good. Fairly good. If you ever need help, just ask me. I'll help out with the quiz. Rhetorical question. There's the talkative option. I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, fact core or something. Like, they're trying to be the characters, but... It was not up to standards. <laughs> It sucked. No hard feelings, but it was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. It could use some definite improvement. I'm going to be honest and say it could use improvement. Constructive criticism, guys. Much more helpful than saying, That fucking sucked. Oh. Whoa, there's so many options here. Right? And some of them are just 
they're just oh. meaningless. I'm going with the bottom one. You could use improvement. Last question. Who do I think I'll get? Uh, I'll just go with the second last one again. The last one because it lines up, doesn't it? Oh my god, there's so many characters. Whoa. There's loads of characters here. Interesting. Uh, fact. I am fact core. Nice. And there's multiple ways of which character you'll get. That's so weird. Um, that's, there's so many options here. Look at this. It's like, there's two for K Junction, two for Defective Turret. Your shell. And second in place is Wheatley, and third in place is Vlados. <laughs> Adventure Core. I'll always help a pretty lady. Did a pretty lady write this? Too bad, I'm taken. Even if I wasn't, I think your literacy is a bit low. And this was probably from years ago when they were 13, so they might be like married with children by now. Who knows? <laughs> Plot twist, uh, it's, it's a girl, it's a male, boy, words. <laughs> um, I I want to pick Wheatley, but I'm not sure which one. Wheatley's amazing, I guess. But also, do people think I'm not smart? People think I'm smart. I think I'm not smart. But I think I want to go Wheatley. Because I think I'm Wheatley, genuinely. I'm going to go Wheatley, he's amazing. What do we get? I killed Did you get a Wheatley? No, I got Shell as well. Uh, we okay. both got the same thing every time. You are Shell. Is, Most determination, independent, weird. not afraid, logical, practical. Half of the answers are jokes, and they're right. only like and like we're taking like this seriously. One or two real answers. Exactly. I'm really smart, even though I don't brag about it. So are you? Apparently, we don't talk much. We'll most likely go far in life because we don't depend on others. Uh, we aren't gullible. We aren't scared easily. We're dependable, trustworthy, strong. Actually, honestly, even though this quiz was kind of weird, this is, I, I do relate to most of this. I think most of this is actually an accurate description to me. I think I do actually, I'm probably more like Shell than anybody in Portal 2, because I would agree with everything here. I think a lot I think, it, I think it's too positive. I need to talk about like my weaknesses Shell. more, but yeah, I think, I think it's accurate. I think a lot of people are actually like the Shell, hell? but they just don't want to be Shell because they're not interesting. <laughs> right, but like, you know, logical, practical, independent, determined, you know, fearless, not gullible. I mean, there's, there's, it's very positive. There should be definitely be more critical. I want to hear why I suck as well as why I'm great. It's hard to hear, but uh -huh. you got to hear it. But yeah, uh, DJ got hell. <laughs> uh, no, and yeah. Portal Reloaded. I do actually plan on live streaming Portal Reloaded someday, guys. When it first dropped on the anniversary, I did mention it. I was fully aware of it. I'd seen the promotional. I watched the trailers, the marketing. I have it wishlisted on Steam. I just haven't got around to playing it because I want to save it for a stream and I haven't really had time because I've been doing other things. But sometime, it doesn't really matter when, especially when the game mechanic involves time travel, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be bending my mind. I'm going to be really bad at it. But uh, sometime, I'm going to have a go at Portal Reloaded. I will cover it. But yeah, with that all in mind, it looks like that's the end of the stream. I got Shell, Abby, and Ratman. I didn't get Wheatley once, but these are the only quizzes that actually worked. There are probably better ones yeah. out there. Peabody but that is all. even an option, like I thought. I, and yeah. I thought that would be the case, because he's sucks. from Portal 2, and he's not as important as Yeah. Me. That's it for now, though, guys. So, yeah, um, I'll just say it one more time. If you have enjoyed, like, subscribe, share supporting me you know i really appreciate it and check out the links in the description below go check out frog balloon this guy is doing pixel, pixel art and stuff uh dario as well as making a faf game or something they got some projects going on so definitely check them out it's nice to see some new faces in the you know collaborator pool if you will um as for a qotd winner i can't think of any good ones to be honest i, I think i might just pass the qotd for today i mean yeah um uh, no qotd winner i'm sorry guys but uh, check out Ecosia, check out, you know, my social media pages, Matt Stavis and Hydrated Highlights, it's all cool stuff. And yeah, the Aperture Personality Identifier program has been completed. Um, this was fun. Again, it's going to be a long while, I think, before I go back to Portal 2. It's kind of asleep right now, like with SCP, because, you know, like Contain Breach, I'm saying, because I'm doing, going to be doing Secret Laboratory, you know, DDLC, we're halfway through, and Republic Commando is making progress, there's a whole bunch of things, but uh, yeah. You'll know when it comes back, and when it does, it will be great. But I think that's going to be the last time we cover Portal this year, if you didn't count this. But yeah, great game. Legendary game. Great stream. Thank you for joining, Frogo. I'm calling you Frogo now. Yep. Thanks for having pleasure. me. It was fun. And I will see you all around. Anything you guys want to say before I go? See ya.
Ugh. You have a good time now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'ma just, um... I'ma just put on some, uh, portal music. I think, I think I know exactly, uh, which one to go with. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, before I go, actually, just one more thing, in case anybody missed it, I made a community post, uh, which you should, uh, check out. I'm oh, gonna be a bit uh, inactive in the next week. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be, like, a full-on hiatus or just the odd stream being off, but there's construction work and stuff happening around my house. I can't explain all the details, but it, it doesn't matter. What matters is that my streams might not happen as they normally do because of this, but yeah, that is... All that, so thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, stay hydrated. Bye. See ya.